Building a desktop application with the same technology as your web application reduces development time so new features can be delivered faster. Today's video is a practical guide for building desktop apps with React and Electron that can run on Windows, Mac, and Linux. We'll be building a simple file explorer that allows users to view file sizes, navigate inside directories, and apply a simple file search operation. To do this, we'll walk through the process of setting up an Electron app with React and how Electron interacts with the native operating system. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and check out my channel for other tutorials. You can find a link to the full source code in the description below. When it comes to setting up an Electron and React project, there are already a pre-configured templates on GitHub that you could use. But to help you gain a better understanding of how Electron and React work together, we'll be setting one up from scratch using the Create React App command line. Once the React app has been configured, we'll need to install some additional dependencies such as Electron, Concurrently, WaitOn, and Cross ENV. The use for these dependencies will become more apparent as we set up Electron with React. We'll start with adding three scripts to the package.json. The serve command will use concurrently to spin up two processes, the React application and Electron. Since we don't want React to open the app in the browser, we can use cross EMV to set browser to none. We already have a command for running the React application, but we'll need to create a new one for Electron. We'll use the wait on to make sure a React is running on port 300 before we start Electron. When Electron starts, it will look in the package.json file for the JavaScript entry point. We'll create a main.js file in the public folder and set the main property to point to it. The building command will leave blank for now and come back to it when we're finished our application. In the main.js, we'll need to create a browser window that will display our React app. We'll import an app object from Electron, which uses an event-based API. We'll use it to hook into different lifecycle hooks of the application. On the ready event, we'll create our window, which will load the URL for our React app. I'm also going to add two other listeners to add some custom logic for Mac OS. You can pause the video and read the comments if you'd like to fully understand why you should add these additional event listeners. We'll also need to handle communication between these processes to allow for our React process to trigger events in the Electron process. We'll do this through the use of interprocess communication, also known as IPC. This will allow us to send events from our React application to our Electron background process. It is common to send events to Electron so that we can gain access to native operations would otherwise not be available. To handle IPC, Electron has a library for common operations. We can install it with yarn add at Electron slash remote. Once installed, we'll need to initialize it in the main.js file and enable the remote module in our browser that is running our React application. This will allow us to run functions in the background process triggered by events happening in React components. Now, if we run Electron Serve, you'll notice a window pops up which contains the template React app web page in a desktop window. I'm also going to install Bootstrap 5 to make our UI look a little more polished. Of course, you can install any UI framework you'd like. I've cleared out some of the files generated by the React app command line and imported the Bootstrap CSS classes into the main.js file. Now that we have all our dependencies set up for development, we can get to building our file explorer. We'll start by writing the logic for getting files in a directory and navigating around. And then we'll create a file viewer component that will display the files in a table. For reading files and handling path string manipulations, we can use fs and path. These are both Node.js modules that can't run in the web browser. But since we're using Electron, we can actually access them directly in our React components. To do this, we must make sure we enable Node integration for the browser window. It's important to note it's best practice to not enable this, but since we need access to the FS and Paths module, we'll need to do so. Now we can access require function on the window for importing any type of module. We'll create a path state, which we'll use for the current location of the user. 
We'll default this to the location of the Electron app. We'll need to use IPC to get the current location from the main.js process. Thankfully, Electron Remote has a function that makes this communication process easy. All we have to do is import the app and call the getAppPath function. Now that we have the path set, we can get all the files in the folder using the FS module. It has a function called readDir, which returns an array of file names for all the files and directories in a given path. Since it does not give us all the information we need, we'll need to iterate over each path and use statsync to determine if it's a directory and get the file size. I've created a simple function above that will convert the byte number result into a more human readable format. If you'd like to take a look at how it works, pause the video now, as I won't be going into detail since you can find a full explanation on Stack Overflow. Before we can return this, we'll also sort the files so we display directories first, then files, and also sort their names in alphabetical order. Since this operation can be expensive, depending on the number of lines in the directory, we'll wrap it in the use memo hook so that it only gets called whenever the path changes. Now we can create an open folder function, which will simply assign the path to the path of the folder passed in, and a back function, which will move the last directory from the path. The path module has functions already that we can simply call to handle the string manipulation. Let's also set up the search option before we create the files view table. We'll define a new state variable that will model the input of a text box. Then we'll use this variable to apply a filter to check if the name of the file starts with the search string. In our JSX, we'll set the input value as a search string and update it when it changes. We'll also add a header to display the current path where the user is. Next, we'll create the files view component. This accepts an array of files and two gallbacks as props. It iterates over each file and creates a row in the table. We'll display the file's name and size and make the table look a little nicer with Bootstrap. We'll also add a folder and file icon that will be displayed for each of their corresponding types. When the user clicks a folder, we'll want to call the onopen callback and pass in the name of the file they clicked. We'll also need to add a back row so a user can go to the parent directory. When clicked, it will simply call the on back callback. In the app, we'll pass in our previously made functions for manipulating the path as the callbacks. And we are done. We now have a file explorer using React and Electron. Before we finish this video, there is one more step I promised, being able to build the app for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. To do this, we'll need to install Electron Builder and Electron is Dev. In our main.js, we'll use Electron is Dev module to check if we are running in dev mode so we can have the browser either open localhost in development or point to the compiled JavaScript code in production. In the package.json, we'll also need to add a build section which will contain the app ID and files associated with it. Lastly, We'll create our script to build the Electron app by first building the React application and then using the Electron Builder to build our Electron app. We'll need to set the main entry point of the Electron app to point to the build directory instead of the public folder. And we are done! You can now run this command and it will create a build for the current operating system you're on. You can build for other platforms that you're currently not on, but there are some caveats. Most of the time, you'll need to run the build command on the operating system you'd like to build for. You can use a build pipeline that offers these operating systems to easily build your projects. Electron Builder has a detailed section in their documentation about building since every use case can be slightly different. Since I'm running this app on Windows, I can simply run yarn electron build and it will create a Windows executable file in the dist folder. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned about using Electron with React. We also have a growing community over on Discord, so I recommend you go check it out. Anyways, hope to see you in the next one.